This is PBC News. I'm Julius. Today's headlines. Construction on railways and the M3 motorway between Stockstead and Wallington is regaining momentum. The long-awaited opening of the Cathershire Company finally ends as the massive department store finally opens up to the public. Storm Agni strikes the Great Parson. Southwest Trains has suspended all rail services to and from Wallington, and the West Coast Main Line will be closed according to Network Rail. Both Wallington and Hatfield airports are expected to be closed. Good evening and welcome to PBC News. New seals for townships and cities all over Parsim have been implemented as of Monday, February 4th. Parliament had decided on how standards for seals and township names should be and independent county councils have decided on what borders the townships should have. Slowly but surely, signs will be placed on township borders and county borders. A heated debate between Abmouth inhabitants and politicians about reopening the abandoned railway line has recently sparked up as locals believe riding the bus takes way too long time compared to the train. This is what an Abmouth parish representative had to say about this topic. We Abmouth residents find it very wrong and unfair that everyone around us gets trains. But not us, you get me? We're having their trains as the beating cuts and taking a bus isn't really fun. It also takes a lot of time away. Also, the bus isn't really relaxing and stuff, my. My mates around the big town don't really understand this. County politicians in Wellington disagree with the local parish representatives and think this is a huge waste of money, as not only restoring the railway will cost millions of squares, but also because it wouldn't make a profit at all. County Council representatives from Abmouth have already submitted a bill regarding this topic once before, which ended with the bill being downvoted. After months of waiting, the Cathershire Company finally opens up its doors to the public for the first time. Here to guide us around the massive three and a half hectare department store is one of the owners, Olive. This is the largest apartment store in all of Parsim. It has its history from the late 19th century. It has, however, reopened now after years of renovations. This is the massive atrium, which, as you can see, has a few hot hair balloons to celebrate the opening. This is pure luxury shopping in one massive historical building. We, of course, plan to open new ones and renovate our current Cafeshire companies that we own. The signal system is experiencing problems as lots of the nation's railway system is shutting down due to malware and technical problems. This has caused an angry uproar from different organisations of commuters who comment that this shows how far the commuters are from power, how Network Rail can't manage the repair works, how our swindling infrastructure budget has real life effects and also that they want the government to do something. The Department of Transport has refused to comment on this situation. Recently, funding for the M3 motorway and other major infrastructure projects such as the South Coast Main Line have been heavily increased. This has led to rapid progress being made on infrastructure in Parsim. The Department of Transport has estimated that the most vital connections between Wellington and Stockton might be finished as early as late March this year. The windstorm Agni is soon to be here. Today Network Rail, together with affected railway operators, held a press conference to inform passengers that rail services will not run during these hectic hours. Winds in the Wallington area are expected to reach 25 metres per second and floods might cause fatal damage on railway tracks. This is what Network Rail CEO Fabquist said during the press conference. We have been in constant contact with the Met Office and we have come to the conclusion that both South Coast and West Coast main lines will be closed as the storm Agni will strike the southwest of Parson. 
Southwest Trains is going to shut down the services from around 1945 and remain closed until tomorrow afternoon, as it seems now. We have been in touch with Arriva and Katasha Transport. Services to Lynn are going to be suspended from midnight. Further information is available at each company's website. And now, the weather, with Fabquist. Hello there. After a quite warm and sunny week, most of the country is facing high winds, loads of rain and high floods as the storm Agni approaches the Passam Island. The Met Office has issued a Class 2 warning for the West Coast and Wallington Archipelago. Winds are expected to increase overnight and tomorrow speeds of 26 meters per second are expected with hurricane forced winds at sea. The winds will slow down inland but along the south coast very harsh winds will continue to slam seaside communities. However, up north temperatures will drop down to a minimum of minus 13 degrees and sunny weather will prevail in Landowness and Wigstonshire. Due to the large difference in temperature, the Midlands will face slippery weather conditions as temperatures will switch around zero degrees. Thank you.